This is another scenario we come across. Two and a half year old boy, fever for two days, cough. There's bronchial breathing. You got a pneumonia, mantu is eight millimeter. WBC count normally is yes, 30. Somebody gave IV antibiotics for two weeks, no response referred. Now what to do? This is a classical scenario that you get, non-resolving pneumonia. What would you do if you had a patient whose pneumonia did not improve? I believe everybody would be using antibiotics which would work for gram-positive bacteria and H. influenza. Under unless somebody goes grossly and just treats a gram-negative infection. Since he is asked correct antibiotic, which is your drug of choice for pneumonia? Everybody says coamoxiclav most of the times. Anybody using cefexim for pneumonia? No. Anybody using uh, ceftriaxone? Yes. yes. So everybody uses almost the correct choice of antibiotic. Okay, let's see the x-ray. This is the x-ray. Shall we start AKT? If you look carefully, there is some right paratracheal uh, widening, which looks like a gland. This was the first x-ray in this child. But when I see this paratracheal or mediastinal widening, the first thing that comes to my mind is there should be a node there. And if I have a node sitting with a pneumonia, there's no business of any bacterial infection to do that, except for probably anthrax. So if I have a node sitting there with a pneumonia, my most likely etiology is TB. I would have gone in for an HRCT much earlier. I would have not waited for two weeks to continue with antibiotics. So whenever you see a non-resolving pneumonia, most common look at the mediastinum. If you get some widening there, you're probably thinking of TB. If I have this mediastinal widening, I would go for an HRCT. If I don't have a mediastinal widening, I would probably go for a bowel first. So my choice of investigation would depend on what the x-ray showed. Your GL was negative, but the CT showed right level of consolidation and there were large caseous necrotic lymph nodes. Now should I do a bowel or should I start AKT? If my bowel doesn't show AFP, will I not give AKT now? Yes. So I would be starting AKT now, irrespective of the, what the bowel shows. My bowel would be required if I'm suspecting drug resistance. So I would still not go for an invasive test because I'm going to put him under general anesthesia for a bowel. So I would not go for any. So you need to, when you have a non-resolving pneumonia, look at the media stream. Don't forget to look there. And depending on what you see, you may either decide a bowel or an HRCT first. So don't just start TB treatment just because it's not resolving pneumonia. It could be a lung malformation. We could, we could be having a lung malformation that is giving this kind of a problem. Now this is another scenario for which I always get references. PUS. Fever for 10 days, no localizing signs. He's taken TB treatment in the past. At that time, Mantu was positive. Various tests have been done. Dengue, malaria, Vidal, blood culture, urine, stool, HIV, extra chest, USG abdomen, everything normal. So you have a PUO there. Mantu was done again, which was 20 millimeter. And my place, a lot of people are very fond of doing CT scans for PUOs because they want to look for tuberculosis. So they do a CT chest or they do a CT abdomen. Anyway, granulomas were there in the liver and the lungs. I was asked for a reference, should we start AKT? So can you think of causes of granulomas which are non-tuberculous? Brucellosis. Can brucellosis cause fever for 10 days? Yes. yes. So your brucella was positive. Not all granulomas are TB. Mm -hmm. The thing is, when you have PUOs, don't rush into CT scans very soon. Okay. Try and find out still infections that are affecting your reticular endothelial system. So try and look for brucella. Try and look for EBV. Look for those kind of infections. TB coming as PUO is pretty rare. Why would TB come as PUO without having a localizing sign? It should have some localizing sign. You should get, if you're doing an ultrasound, you should get some granulomas or you should get some lymph nodes. If you're doing an X-ray chest, you must pick up some mediastinal nodes or some pneumonia. You just can't have a TB coming as PUO. If I have a TB coming as PUO, I would think of an underlying immunodeficiency. I would think of HIV in that child. The only TB that comes as a PEO is basically disseminated mycobacterium avium. 
in immunocompromised patients. They don't have localizing cells. But otherwise, TB coming as a POO is pretty rare. So don't rush into CT scans too soon. Still rule out infections like brucellosis, EBV. Rule out autoimmune disorders. Then think of TB. If you have a localizing sign, go into TB first. 